Until the end of this video, you will figure out whether I found the best possible app for learning these 10 foreign languages in a fun and effective way. Hence, I will do the full review of one of the most popular apps called Lingopy, go through its tools and give my overall assessment of this app, as well as the recommendations for users in order to optimize its usage. Pass in your seatbelts. Thus, Lingopy is a subscription-based app for learning foreign languages languages through immersion and was officially launched in 2019. In the attempt to make language learning as entertaining as possible, the founders of the Lingopi came up with the idea to make acquiring foreign languages possible through watching TV shows and movies. So this app provides users with compelling materials combined with interactive language learning tools. What I found extremely practical is that Lingopi offers web version as well as the mobile app that is available for Android and Apple devices. But how Lingopi really functions and for whom it works the best? Well, I tried it with languages in which I have different levels and here is what I found out. Well, when you log in the Lingopi, you will see the home page and its main feature, it's called TV Catalog. In the top right corner, you will see all languages that you can learn. In addition to these nine languages, it is possible to learn English for those who speak German, French, Spanish, Italian and Portuguese. Thus, when you select the language you want to learn, you will have a variety of different materials that you can watch in this target language and they are all divided into categories. I have to say that the selection of the materials that you can find at this home page for any target language is really amazing because all these materials are in a way divided for certain levels so you can find the materials that are beginner friendly, those materials are more dedicated towards people who are at the intermediate level and of course materials that are made for advanced level. On the other and the length of these materials is uh, different, which is really great. The only thing that was bothering me while working on this platform was the amount of the materials that is not enough for uh, each language. And this is one of the rare issues that I found on Lingopi platform. But if you stay long enough, you will realize how you can overcome this issue. Besides the amazing selection of the materials on Lingopi platform, I was able to find a bunch of references or so to say other sources for improving my target languages. One more tool that I believe that is essential for language learning is the all-time progress that is available for your languages on the top of home page and in every moment you can see how many hours you spent learning each language and you can see the number of collected words and number of the master words and these are some of the tools that you can use while watching videos on Lingopi platform. Track records are really essential because the progress in the language really depends on the time spent with each language. So in this way Lingopi provides a really useful tool in order to keep you responsible towards the whole process and you can monitor your progress all time. Yeah, so when you enter the video you will see that there is a possibility to turn on captions. Captions may be in a target language or in English or you can use both so at the same time you can see the lines. On your right side you will be able to see the script and you can see the text in advance. One of the basic tools that you can use here is to slow down the speed of the video and customize it according to your needs. What I found really practical is the option that you can stop the video at any time and check any of these words that are mentioned in the script and see its translation. Since I tried the Lingopi with the languages in which I have high level of proficiency, I believe that these translations are correct 99% of the time. The only thing that was bothering me and in which they have space for improvement is some of the words that are not translated but just repeated in uh, English for instance. It would be amazing if Lingopi could give some explanations of the words if it is not possible to just translate the word itself. 
What is one of the most amazing tools is that when you click on some of the words that you don't know and check the translation, these words automatically go to the memory of the system and they make flashcards from those words and you can check all these words later on. Besides that, there is an option to speak a phrase or to check whether you're pronouncing the words correctly and uh, there is a really useful tool that is showing you the percentage of your pronunciation correctness. The additional value of this platform it provides grammar explanations as well and you have different type of words emphasized in different colors to be honest, my focus while learning foreign languages is as little as possible on grammar, but it is really nice to have grammar explanations and I would assess this as additional value. Of course, if you want, you can anytime turn on or turn off any of these additional tools so they don't bother you while watching videos. You will realize that some of the words are marked with stars and these stars actually represent the words that are important for your level. After collecting all these words that you clicked on, Lingopi will give you the option to play a quiz in order to help you review those words. And I like the way in which Lingopi provides this option of reviewing words because it is done in the context, so they will repeat the sentence in which the unknown word appeared and you will have to guess the meaning. You will usually have some options to select. It is proven that learning words in the context is one of the most effective ways, but I believe as well that here there is a space for improvement or for making uh, flashcards with pictures for some of the words. So if you hear my advice, Lingopi, please react. The way in which I make flashcards for foreign languages that I'm starting from scratch, I explained in the, this series of videos that you might watch later on. If we go back to the home page, there are some more options that I believe are worth mentioning. So in the right top corner, you can see the new releases of the series or TV shows. Ingopi as well offers the option to review and practice scheduled private lessons. To be honest, I have not tried this option, but it is good to know that there is an option to hire a tutor and have private lessons. But the most amazing tool that I found out on Lingopi is the tool that's called Netflix Selects and it really provides an amazing amount of new materials for learning foreign languages in all those languages. So by clicking on Netflix Selects, you can see the option to download the extension for Google Chrome and Safari. So you can use additional tools on Netflix and uh, watch all these materials on Netflix with subtitles and all other tools on Lingopi platform. Thus, as I mentioned before, Lingopi for each language does not provide a huge amount of materials, but there is an option to use Netflix with Lingopi tools. So this is a huge additional value I would say that Lingopi provides. Well, since I tried Lingopi platform with all these different languages, I can say that it works best for those languages in which I have intermediate or advanced level. I tried it as well with languages in which I am beginner and the languages in which I am beginner I can divide into three categories. So these are the languages in uh, which I have certain level of knowledge, the languages in which I don't have any level of proficiency but they are similar to the languages that I already speak and the third category category are the languages in which I don't have certain level of proficiency nor I speak any of the languages that are similar to those languages. I would say for those languages in which I'm beginner but still have certain level of knowledge, Lingopi can be really useful and there is a bunch of user-friendly materials for beginners as well, so I would recommend using the platform 
if you are a beginner because there is a bunch of materials that you can use and materials are comprehensible and compelling at the same time for those languages in which I don't have a certain level of proficiency but I speak the languages that are similar to those languages such as Russian Russian is very similar to my native language Serbian but I have never been in touch with Russian or I have learned this language I found out that there is a bunch of materials that I can understand and that I can acquire this language easily with Lingopi platform and the third type of the languages is for instance Korean in which I don't have any level of proficiency nor I speak any of the languages that are similar to Korean I found out that that for these type of languages it would be really really difficult to acquire a language by using the Lingopi platform. I think that uh, using Lingopi for this specific situation would not be so helpful and the acquisition of the language would be a very painful and long process. Thus, for all other language learners that I enumerated, I highly recommend using Lingopi platform and I believe that this is one of the most amazing and the most helpful and entertaining ways that you can improve your language skills in. Thus, let's make some summary with advantages and the drawbacks of Lingopi platform. Thus, the first drawback is that uh, Lingopi is not free of charge. Obviously, you would have to pay a certain amount of money in order to get the access to Lingopi platform. The second one is that it would be really nice if Lingopi would have much more materials for every language than currently exists on the platform. On the other hand, if you enlarge this database by using the Netflix, you will have to pay a subscription to Netflix platform as well. So this will increase your amount of the investment in language learning process. The fourth disadvantage would be that it is very difficult to learn a foreign language on Lingopi platform if you're a total beginner and don't have any experience with the language. And the last one is that I would really love to see the explanation of the words for which the translation does not exist on a platform and that are just copied in, in the same form in uh, English or any other language. However, there is a bunch of advantages that Lingopi provides and I really believe are amazing. And the first one is that it is an effective and fun way to learn and acquire languages and upon to my experience, this is one of the most amazing platforms that I have ever used. The second one is that the platform itself is really user-friendly and you can use it on your PC or on your mobile phone. So it is very easy to navigate throughout all the tools Lingopi provides. The third one advantage that I think it is amazing as well is the great choice of the content on the platform, plus variety of the materials and there is something for everyone. So whether these are hobbies, tourism, crime scene, a series, etc. So everyone literally can find something interesting on this Lingopi platform. The fourth advantage is really good translation that I can guarantee at least for these languages that I have high level of proficiency. The fifth really huge advantage would be that Lingopi is really great reference to other sources that are available online for language learners. The sixth one and one of the essential things for my language learning journey is the track record or tracking your progress on Lingopi is constant. Thus you can monitor your progress with the languages all times, which I really believe is essential for keeping you responsible in making progress in the languages. And the advantage number seven, even though Lingopi is not free of charge, I think it's not too expensive and I believe it is available for a vast majority of the language learners and there is a special discount that you will find in the description of this video so if you want to subscribe to this platform and try it I recommend using this link however I won't earn any money if you use the link and uh, subscribe to Lingopi platform this is only my sincere recommendation for this amazing platform that I believe can boost your skills in the target language you want to improve. That's
as guys let me know what you think about LinguaPi platform and if you have any questions let me know in the comments below don't forget to hit that subscribe button and get notified about every new video that i publish on this youtube channel and keep learning foreign languages and see you in some of the next videos bye